you. Uh, you must be delighted to sign for Bristol Rovers on a permanent deal. Uh, what kind of convinced you that this was the right place for you? Yeah, um, I obviously know Rovers is a really good football club. I've um, experienced match days here before, um, playing and on the bench. Um, after speaking to the manager last night, um, there was no doubt that this is the right the right move for me. Um, and I'm just look, really looking forward to getting started now. Um, and looking forward to working with the manager. And what kind of things did the gaffer communicate to you last night when you when you spoke? About how he's trying to start, uh, change the style of play from um, previous managers. Um, about the type of signings that he wants to bring in and the main thing is with myself signing here permanent is not just the next six months, it's it's the next two and a half years. So um, how the team can progress, how the manager's going to progress and hopefully I can play um, a key role in that progression if all goes well. And looking at your progression, you've had a few appearances uh, up and down the divisions in England as well as overseas. Is this the right place for you to really kick on? 100%. Um, I've played a little bit in League One with uh, Coventry when I broke through there um, and loved playing with the Saturday, Tuesday sort of schedule. Um, so for me to come back into League One now with Rovers, which is a really big club in this league, um, and to prove myself again, um, no, I think it's the right step for me and um, looking forward. And there's, it's always helpful to have a familiar face um, when you're moving to a new club. You know Adrian Tucker, you work with him yeah. in the past. How helpful is that to have someone? No, there? it always helps. And like we just spoke about, there's always someone normally at a football club that um, that you're familiar with. And Tux was really good at Swansea last year. Um, in and around the first team, even if I wasn't playing so much, just training and helping and bits of advice. He's obviously a goalkeeping coach, so he, he also knows what he wants from, from his central defenders. Um, Tux took all the set players, attacking, defending, but also really good voice away from the training ground, just on advice and stuff like that. So no, I'm really looking forward to working with him and all the staff that are here. And recently you've been on loan overseas in, in Holland. How has that developed your game as a defender? No, it has for sure. Um, game is a lot different out there to how it is here. Um, but no, it has really helped me, not just with football, but just living away from home in a different country is completely different. So as a player and um, as, a, as, a, as a human, I suppose, I've, I feel like I've come on a lot from it and it's, it's something that I can draw from and in the we'll future. And we'll touch on your career for Wales as well. Uh, yeah. Bristol Rose has had a uh, history in the past with, with Tom Lockyer, who's yeah. kind of progressed into the first team. Is that something you're looking to emulate yourself? Yeah, of course. Of course, something that's only going to only gonna help me from playing here is hopefully I can pick up that recognition from the national side. Um, I know Tom, Tom Locks was here. Um, really good player and he's obviously gone on to other things now and is doing really well so it, again another case that, that Rovers is a club that can that can help people um, and is a club that progresses progresses players